Reptile lovers, what's good? It's your boy Rock, and of course you're back with Rock Reptile. As you guys know, I've been doing a little growth vlog, just a little vlog about the snakes, and there's one I haven't done anything about, and that's Harpo. So man, I'm about to grow, grab him and show him to you, let you know what he is, man. So hey, let me grab him real quick. And this is the big boy Harpo, man. He is a boa imperator or boa imperator. A lot of people give it different names. A lot of people just say red tail boa just to be short, but I want to be transparent and truthful with you. This is not a true red tail boa. This is a common boa, a Colombian boa, or you could call it a BCI or boa imperator, man. This is my big boy. This is the biggest snake that I have at the moment. He's about three, two and a half, three years old. And he is strong as ever. He is a hypo boa. So just a, a single gene hypo boa imperator, about two and a half years old. I had him for a year. And man, since I gotten him, he hasn't gotten as far as length. He's grown maybe a little, he's grown a little bit as far as length, but as far as just mass and muscle mass, man, he has grown quite a bit. And as you can see, man, this is what you want to see in your bow imperators. You want them to look like a loaf of bread. You don't want them to be round and fat and plump. You want them to look like this, like a nice block shape with a nice muscle tone, nice muscle definition and muscle mass, man. And you can see, starting to work up a sweat, just handling him right here in front of the cameraman. He's a big boy. He's very curious. He loves to move around. Right now, Harpo is eating guinea pigs. Guinea pigs and extra large rats. I'm thinking about, you know, going to get him a frozen thaw, a, a small rabbit, just to give him something different. He also eats quail. You know, I like to switch up their prey and the prey size and just diversify their prey man so that's an important thing when owning a snake if you can man please diversify your prey items for your snake don't give them just one thing definitely like rats i mean rats are good for them don't get me wrong but i mean give them something different like chicken quail things with protein you know so they could grow and be beautiful have beautiful colors i mean when he's out in the sun, his iridescence is beautiful, man. Hey, man, this is a beautiful snake, man. So if you want a snake, but you don't want something too large, like a Burmese python or a reticulated python, a boa constrictor or a boa, a boa imperator are a good option. They don't get too large, but they are quite impressive, man. And they are very strong, if I may say so, man. These are probably one of the strongest snakes, pound for pound. Like this dude, the strength that he has. My uh, friend had a retake and he was about eight feet long. And Harp was probably about five feet, five and a half feet long. And just, you could literally tell the difference in strength. Well, as you can see, he got his tail wrapped around the chair. So like sometimes handle on him, can be a handful definitely when you're trying to do something like shoot this video man you can see he is very curious loves to move around and he is heavy he's about eight pounds eight nine pounds or so but when he's moving and weight just distributing all over the place man he feels a hell of a lot heavier than that man but hey this is harpo my Colombian boa or my boa constrictor imperator. Man, he's a beautiful animal, has beautiful colors. I like this little salmonish color that he has coming up his sides, man. His back is nice. It's like a burnt orange, man. Just a beautiful animal, if I must say so. And man, I am getting a nice little sweat in dealing with this guy, but I take him out often, so something I'm used to. So, you know, in them hot days or nice warm days outside, walking around or taking them outside can be a handful, but hey, man, I love my animals. So I'm gonna try to give them the best life that I possibly can. 
Matter of fact, after I'm done shooting this video, I'm about to, you know, sprucing up everybody's cage, make sure everything is good, you know, do some spot cleaning, clean all their water dishes, put some nice fresh water. I, as far as water, I do that every, about every two days, I change their water and give them fresh water. So, man, this is my boy, man. So, if you're thinking about it, this is a, of course, it's a male. Females can get larger than this. I'm not, he's not full grown. He, he's gonna get a little bit larger, but not like much larger, maybe about six feet or so. Maybe, he, you know, he could possibly hit seven, but you know, he's not too far from his adult size. So man, this is him. Man, I appreciate y'all love and support. Subscribe, like, and comment, man. Let's keep growing. Let's keep going as a community, man. I love and appreciate y'all. Take care of yourself and your loved ones. Have a blessed one. Peace.